Sarah Hayward. We all know that your favorite story about me is when I sprayed down the uh, garbage pail kid with the lemon pledge. And frankly, you tell that story far better than I ever could. But I was thinking, what is my favorite story about you? And it does involve the same people. Um, I don't know if you remember this, but it stuck out in my mind. It was... I think it had been raining all night. And I got off the bus to go to work, and just as I got off of the bus at the bus stop, you happened to be driving by, so you let me in and give me a ride to work because you're such a good person. Now, I don't know if you remember, but there were... A... Duncan tended to flood every now and then. So after the rain, there was that, like, ginormous puddle in every gutter. And as we were driving down the street towards work, you happened to just sort of see something out of the corner of your eye. You said, hey, look at that. And I look, and just down the street on the sidewalk is Jason and Mark and someone else, probably Cody. And you said, do you want to see something funny? And I didn't know you well enough at this point to know that that generally means danger. But I said, sure. I love funny. And the next thing I know, you give this quick, you know, little double tap on your horn. And it gets their attention from down the street. And they look up and they sort of tentatively wave. Because I guess at this point they still didn't realize that you were the devil. And... Then you speed up a bit, and you made it look like you were about to pull over to the side to give them a ride to the comic book store, because clearly, where else were they going to be going on a Saturday afternoon? And then, just as they positioned themselves right beside a giant puddle, you sped the fuck up, and then all I see from my window is just this big ol' tidal wave. And in the rearview mirror, all you could see as we sped away is how they were drenched and going, oh. And it was about 20 minutes later that they finally showed up at the comic book store, and they were livid. But before they could say a single word, and without looking up from the counter, you just said, Oh, I didn't see you there! You're a delight. As a side note, I just wanted you to know that I sometimes feel like the love child of one of Savannah's drawings and one of your drawings, because I'm emaciated and skeletal, like a lot of Savannah's creatures are. But my default face is the expression that all of your characters do.